Well babe, this is it. We finally have our own house that we can call home. Yeah. It did cost a lot, but I think this investment was well worth it. Is Carly on her way? Yeah, she'll be here soon, but told me that you and I can get a head start with the unpacking. Alright, then we better get started. There's a lot of hard work to be done. Man, this couch was heavy. I'm surprised we got it in here by ourselves. Yeah but at least this couch was the last of the heavy stuff. Oh thank god. I don't think my fingers can take any more heavy lifting. Same with mine. I think we can take a break for a while. Ah, music to my ears. Hi Carly. Hey there Jace. Sorry if I took too long to get here. Nah don't worry, you're fine. Come on in. Jessica's in the living room. Hey Jess, look who's here. Hi there Carly. Hey Jessica. Already made yourself right at home I see. Actually, I'm just taking a break for a while. All the unpacking and heavy lifting so far has made me exhausted. Well I'd love to relax too. But I just got here, and I haven't done my fair share of the unpacking, nor have I brought in any of my own stuff yet. I'd be happy to give you a hand if you need some help Carly. Thank you Jace. You don't mind, do you Jessica? Not at all babe. Go ahead. Oh, I already finished this one too. Well, back to the kitchen I go. You still want more Mountain Dew Jace? You've already had like 4 bottles, 5 counting the one you just finished. That's nothing Carly. You should have seen this one time when I drank a full 2 liter bottle of Mountain Dew, in just a matter of hours. Alright I think you've had enough Mountain Dew for one night mister. Hey I can't help it. This soda is just too good for me to pass up. You dork. I'm picking out the drinks next time we go grocery shopping. Besides, why don't you save that Mountain Dew for when we have our house party? Because it would be impossible. I would have already drank all the bottles in just a matter of days. Good grief babe, what am I going to do with you? Love me unconditionally, just like you always have. Hey, do I need to give you two lovebirds some alone time? Sorry Carly, didn't mean to make you feel left out. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's change the topic. Anything in mind either of you two can think of? I've got one. It's about the spare bedroom I saw upstairs. What are we going to do with it? There's a good chance we'll rent it out to a fourth potential roommate. If we had that, living expenses around here would become less of a pain for everyone. Any potential takers? Not yet, but there is someone who could be potential roommate material. A friend of mine named James Sullivan, who's trying to find somewhere where he can have his own space. He's not like, insane or something, is he? No he's not. He's a good guy if you get off on the right foot with him. Granted I've only met James, a few times. However, I do put my trust in what Jace says. I'm glad you think that way hun. Speaking of James, he texted me earlier, saying that he wanted to come by and check out the place, tonight at the earliest. And you were planning on telling me and Carly this, 
When? It was a last minute request Jess, I didn't think it would be a problem. Now, if you two don't mind, I need to excuse myself. Nature calls. You're just about ready to kick his ass Jessica, aren't you? Oh believe me Carly, you, have no idea. Hey babe, we've already got friends arriving for our house party. Already? Wow, it's not even noon yet. Come on, let's go and join them. So what do you girls think of me Jason Jessica's new place? I think it looks really nice so far Carly. What do you think Jules? I'm impressed myself with what we've been shown so far. I can't wait to see the rest of the house. And here come the hosts of the party. Hey Jessica, hey Julie, thanks for coming. We're glad you invited us Jace. It's nice to finally reunite with old friends. Did Heather and Amber say whether or not they were still coming? Julie and I called them on our way over here. Heather said she wasn't feeling very good, and told us she might have a nasty flu bug. And Amber, being Amber, decided she'd rather be at home chatting with Mike. Ouch. Well, I hope Heather gets well, and I hope Amber has fun chatting with Mike rather than spending time with us. Yeah. So, would you guys like a house tour of the new house? Sure, that would be terrific. I'm with Julie. Carly and Marcel, you wanna tag along? We'll pass Jace. I think Marcel and I will wait here for some of the others to arrive. Okay, that's fine. Come on girls, your house tour awaits. So, babe, now that our friends are gone, you want to get a little frisky? Maybe later, hun. It looks like more guests have arrived for the house party. Hey, sis. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. Now nah, don't worry, Taylor. You're good. And I see you brought the whole gang. Yep. And a familiar face too. I can see that. It's great to see you again Evan. You too Marcel. It feels good seeing everyone again. And I have Taylor to thank for that. For helping me win my court case. Oh babe. You're giving me too much credit. They both couldn't keep their hands off each other on our way over here. And now they're making out. Are you too dumb yet? We want to come in too and start having some fun. Sorry Amberlyn. Come on Evan, let's find somewhere more private. <laughs> you two find this funny. Just a little bit Amberlyn. Come on, cut Taylor and Evan some slack. I will try Carly, but no promises. Oh and by the way Amberlyn, Jace and Jessica already filled us in on what happened to you and Heatherly. About how you both recently had to get vocal cord surgery. Yeah, Heather Lee and I don't even know what happened to cause our vocal cords to get messed up. But, at least both of our surgeries were a success. The recovery for my sister is proving difficult. Unlike me who's handling through this pretty well, Amberlyn is still learning to adjust to her new voice. I can understand that. I know this is hard to take in Amberlyn, but what you've gone through is not that bad. Look at it like this. You may have had to get your voice changed, but... You and Heatherly are still friends with all of us, and nothing's going to change that. Yet, perhaps. Come on, let's all go and join the others. Hey Jace, I think our house party just got a whole lot more crowded. Hey Mimi, hey Elvis, hey Amanda, hey Aurora, hey Alyssa. Thanks for coming. No problem dude. Thanks for inviting us. It's my pleasure. 
Hello Miss Andrews, hello Miss Harris. Hi Principal Moonlight. Hello. Jessica already gave us a tour of the house Jace. You guys did a great job. Thank you Alyssa. I certainly hope we didn't miss lunch, because I'm starving. Actually, your guys' arrival was perfect timing. Lunch is almost done. We are having burgers. Burgers? Jace you know that's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, and I think I'll be having some Mountain Dew to go with mine. Yeah, too much sugar. Do you always do that to her? Every. Single. Time. It's even better when she does it on Discord. I'm gonna go check on the burgers. Be right back. So Jessica, who exactly is making lunch for us? Someone that you guys haven't been introduced to yet. He's the fourth roommate that lives here at the new place. A fourth roommate, huh? Well I hope he's a good cook. What's his name? Yo James, you almost done with the burgers? We've got friends arriving who are wanting some food. They're almost done dude. And you know that good cooked food cannot be rushed. You are to be patient. To allow the flavors to all come together. I thought you told me that the burgers would be done in no time flat before our guests started arriving. Well I would have finished the burgers minutes ago. But those lovebirds over there are distracting me. So that's where Taylor and Evan ran off to. Jace how do you expect me to concentrate on cooking good ass food, when I have Romeo and Juliet over there making out? Uh, put on a blindfold? Damn it dude I need you to be serious here. Look James, I honestly don't know what to tell you. Taylor and Evan haven't seen each other for months, so you can't exactly blame them for wanting to make up quality time they missed out on. You know what screw it. I'll take care of those two myself. You know, when you offered me to be your roommate, I thought we'd have an understanding of sorts. Uh James, you might wanna... Watch where you're going. Oh come on. I just bought this new red jacket yesterday. Now look at me. I'm all soaking wet. Yeah you'll have to dry off, and put on a fresh change of clothes. But hey, on the bright side, you got to take a refreshing swim. How did I get dragged into this? I'm better off doing reaction videos. Should we put a stop to this? Those two are going to get major headaches if they keep this up. Nah, just let them have their fun. Just give it up Jace, because you can't beat me. Oh yes I can. Just watch. Don't worry Jess, it's just some harmless fun. Jace and Marcel better not end up on social media because of this. I think it's a little too late for that Jessica, because Amberlyn just took out her phone. Amberlyn. Sorry, Jessica. And, we have a winner. See, I told you so. Yeah, I'm going to admit, you're better at doing handstands than me. And now I think the blood rushed to my head. I don't feel very well. That isn't good babe, I better take you inside so we can get you an ice pack. And for a second, I thought Jace was going to win. Hopefully he won't do something like this again. We certainly don't want him to accidentally hurt himself. Amberlyn, can you please turn off your camera? I think you have more than enough footage. Yeah, you're right. Do you think Jace will be fine? Yeah, I think taking a break and resting for a while will do him some good. Please excuse me for a moment everyone, I have to take this. Hi dad. Yes, Taylor and I are having a great time, and I'm sorry if I took a while to get to the phone. What's up? Are you serious dad? She has? 
Oh my gosh. Okay, Taylor and I are on our way. We'll see you soon. I love you too, Dad. Bye. Carly? Who was that on the phone? That was Dad Taylor. And he's got some big news. He just called to let you and me know that Mom just went into labor. Our new baby siblings are finally on their way.